Susie here. Oh, it's just my teeth. Ugh, they feel all fuzzy and furry, like they haven't been brushed in days. What happens when you don't brush your teeth? The teeth are all fall out. You get holes in your teeth. They fall out. You don't ever brush your teeth in the whole year, and um, but probably by the end of the year you'll need dentures or. You'll get a cavity. They fall down. It'll get rotten. Smell? They'll go all slippery like a fly. The salt will eat your teeth. Worms will go in your teeth. <laughs> you get probably. <laughs> they get dirty. They get yellow. They get holes in them. They go rotten. You get holes in them. They can go rotten. They go mouldy and brown. They'll get rotten. Get holes in the tooth. Teeth will go all rotten. They get all dirty and you get cavities. And they'll get holes in them. They go all rotten and they fall out. They'll get all rotten. They fall out. Your teeth get rotten and they fall out. The sugar um, eats at your teeth. You'll end up getting fillings. Um, you get fillings. They turn all yellow. They get decay and then, you, and then um, bugs eat through them and you have to get fillings. You'll get to the decay. Bugs can go in your teeth. You get holes in them and you have to have a filling. Oh, they go all mouldy and they go green. I get holes. That's what happens. Maybe nothing happens. Yeah, maybe nothing happens at all. Who needs to brush anyway? Oh. Or maybe your teeth start to feel a bit furry oh, and get a bit icky. Yeah, well, that's not so bad, is it? Mm. What if it makes your breath smell? <sighs> <Ooh. laughs> or what if it makes your teeth start to ooze and drip stinking slime? <gasps> or maybe your teeth get rotten and they go crumbly and they all fall out. Scary. Ah, but really, how bad can it be? Well, let's find out together, because I haven't brushed some of my teeth for three whole days. It's an experiment to see what would happen. Mm, these ones here. Yeah, all furry. Yuck. But it's all in the best interests of science. What will my dentist say? Hey, come and meet my dentist. This is Jeff. Hi. Hey Jeff, I haven't brushed my bottom teeth for three whole days. What happens when you don't brush your teeth? Well Susie, if you don't brush your teeth, all the food you've eaten tends to stick to your teeth. That then gets colonised by bacteria that are in your mouth, mixed with some saliva, and before you know it, your teeth are covered in this yucky stuff that is obviously on your lower teeth. So after three days, how many would I have? Thousands of them, in fact. And if you don't shut your mouth quickly, they'll all be on the floor before we know it. So you mean I've got things living on my teeth, bacteria sitting in the plaque, eating the food that I've been eating? Now, Susie, this material on your teeth is called plaque. That's the bacteria mixed with the food. I'm just applying some disclosing solution to these areas and that will show us the extent of all the plaque. All right, now just have a little rinse there for me. Mm -hmm. Take a wipe. There. Can you see all the plaque? All the plaque in bacteria after only three days. Ugh! How do we get rid of it? Well, Susie, that'll be no problem at all. I've got this drill here that I can... A drill? Oh, it's only my polishing drill. You don't have to worry. <laughs> Stop right there. Well, what do we know so far? Well, bacteria live in your mouth. Yes, you have them too. You can't always see them, but they're there. And bacteria form plaque. Plaque is colourless and sticky and sticks to your teeth. 
Remember the dentist painted all the plaque on my teeth bright pink? Well, acid from the plaque acts on your teeth making holes or cavities. And that's when trouble starts. What can you do? Brush your teeth after meals to exterminate that icky, sticky plaque. If you can't brush your teeth, like at school for instance, rinse your mouth with water. It all helps. Phew, it's good to have my teeth back to their normal colour and free of all that furry plaque. Healthy, strong teeth. Hey, did you know that the enamel on the outside of your teeth is the strongest substance in your body? It is. It's very strong. It's even harder than bone. And that's why your teeth are so good at biting and chewing. <laughs> Unless plaque gets a hold of them. The bacteria in the plaque use the sugars in the food to make acids. And acids make change. Change on your teeth. Vinegar is an acid. It's a very weak acid, and you'll probably find some in your kitchen. It's used for cooking sometimes. And this is a glass of water. They look very much the same, but let's see what happens when I add something that acids might like. Oh, well, you've probably got some of this white powder at home too. It's baking soda. We'll try it in the water first. And what's happening? Nothing much. It's just sitting in the bottom of the glass. Well, let's try it with this acidic vinegar. Whoa! Woo. <laughs> Can you see what's happening? Look at the bubbles. The acidic vinegar and the baking soda are reacting together. Acids react with other substances to change them. The acid in the vinegar is definitely changing the baking soda. The soda's disappeared. And the acid from plaque reacts with things too. Ugh. The acid in your plaque attacks the enamel, the outside layer of your teeth, and causes tooth decay. That means that the bacteria can get right inside to the soft parts of your teeth. So, from now on, I'm going to be brushing all of my teeth all of the time, so I don't end up with teeth that look red like this. Oh, that looks so disgusting. How to clean your teeth. Take a blob of toothpaste the size of a pea and a little water. Then brush your teeth the way your teeth are growing. From the root down on the top teeth and from the roots up on the bottom teeth. And that'll get rid of all that bacteria-filled plaque. Of course, don't forget to Get in behind. Mmm, much better. So if I brush after every meal, and perhaps eat a few less sweets, I'll give less sugar to those dastardly tooth-destroying bacteria. It'll be another victory for humanity and science in the fight against bacterial disease. Hey, you might like to check out how often your family brush their teeth. And you might like to check out the science info on my website. It's at www.suzy.co.nz. Send me your science experiments or discoveries. You can write to me at Tree Hut Productions, P.O. Box 34307, Birkenhead, in Auckland. I'll see you later. Ka kite. Thanks for paying your broadcasting fee.